Hi, it's Will, and this is the first in several introduction videos to the Aspic SDK. I'm going to assume that you've already downloaded the SDK from the website or you've transferred it from GitHub. And when you do so, you're going to wind up with a folder called Aspic underscore SDK here. It has all the subfolders of the SDK inside of it, and you can drop this into um, a Mac or Windows operating system. On the Windows side, you just copy the folder into your C drive. So here's the SDK there. It looks the same, it is the same, and you can run the Aspic Creator software out of either the Mac side or the Windows side. So it is a sort of a parallel universe between the two of them. When you create projects from either the Mac or the Windows side, you can immediately transfer them to the other side, meaning if you create a project on the Mac side, you don't have to recreate it all over again on the Windows side. You can just copy it and move it over to the Windows side all at once. So it doesn't matter which, um, which operating system you want to start off working in, whether it is uh, Mac or Windows. I'm going to usually start off on the, on the uh, Macintosh side. The Aspect Creator is the utility that we're going to use to create our first plugins and to add GUI control code to them. So we'll run that a little bit later. The documents are here. This is the documentation. You can go ahead and launch that if you already have it, and it will open up a Doxygen documented um, hyperlinked HTML file. This has everything that you need to know about creating uh, new projects, notes on all the uh, different APIs and which ones, um, which compilers are supported, how to write an example plugin API, how to design the GUI for it with a full, uh, a, a really complete step-by-step -step process to doing all that. Now we are going to do almost all of this stuff on the videos. And I just want you to know that everything that we do is already documented inside of here. There are also documents on all of the C++ objects and all of the deep lower level stuff you can spend a lot of time around in this area if you want to. Now with the documentation complete, there is uh, another folder called plugin template. This is the blank folder. This is the blank plugin that is going to be used to create all of your new plugins. And you can do it either with the Aspect Creator software here, or you can actually do it manually and you can copy and paste this folder into a new location change a couple of lines of a, a text file here, and then uh, do that. Uh, or you can use the Aspect Creator, which is a little bit easier way to do that. There's a couple of samples, but the easiest way to get started is to create a new project from scratch, which is what we're going to do with the Creator here. And lastly, you can see that there's a VST GUI 4 subfolder. This contains the VST GUI 4 library in its entirety. Nothing has been changed or altered. Um, or, or left out or added. So you can get this within the SDK. You can also get this from GitHub. It is an open source graphics library and it is what we use to generate the GUIs for all the Aspic plugins. So with that in place, <clears throat> let's go ahead and start talking about the uh, APIs themselves. Aspic will support AAX, AU, and VST. And you're going to need to download the SDKs and get them arranged in a certain way, at least to begin with. You can move things around or change things on your own, but we'll go over that in a different video. The uh, SDKs need to be arranged in an outer folder. I've named mine All SDK, and I've, you can see that there's an underscore here as well. We're going to be using the CMake utility for generating our plugin projects, and we need to have CMake proper names which don't contain white spaces. So everything is going to contain either underscores or uh, no white spaces in the names for them. So in the all SDK outer folder I have the three inner SDKs. And we can start with the VST SDK. When you download it from Steinberg or you get it from GitHub, you are going to wind up with this folder named VST underscore SDK just like this and you just need to copy that folder into your outer container folder, and it has in it all of the rest of the SDK um, stuff. We don't need to run the utilities um, or the batch files or anything here. What we're going to do is create a My Project subfolder within the VST3 SDK. 
and inside of the My Project subfolder is going to be our VST GUI 4 subfolder and all the plugins that we create. I've already got one here called Reverb Tanker. So when you copy and download the SDK, you will need to go inside of it and manually create this My Projects folder and, a, uh, and copy over the VST GUI 4 library into that folder. You can name the My Projects folder whatever you want as long as it's a valid CMake name so it can, can't contain any white spaces. So that doesn't really matter what you name it. Uh, you need to copy the VST GUI 4 outer folder in just exactly like it is. Now for uh, AAX, you can also download the AAX SDK from Avid. You need to create a developer's account there, which is free. And when you download that, you're going to wind up with a folder called AAX and then a bunch of letters and numbers. 2P3P1 was the last one, which stands for 2.3.1. I've renamed that to AAX underscore SDK here. You can have it whatever you named whatever you like, but it needs to be a valid CMake name. Inside of this are the folders that come with, um, with the AAX uh, SDK. And I've already gone ahead and created a My Project subfolder in here. And I've copied the VST GUI 4 subfolder inside of it as well. So you can see I've got this kind of parallel setup between how deep the, the folders are from each other and from the outer uh, library or the outer SDK folder. For AU, there is no actual packaged SDK, it really consists of two subfolders, AU Public and Public Utility. And you download these from Apple. I've already prepackaged them together under, under one big heading, AU SDK, and you can download that from aspicplugins.com. So you can get the SDK already prepackaged with these two subfolders, or you can download them and organize them in the same manner with the same pair of folder uh, folders here. Again, I've got a My Project subfolder, which I've um, created inside of that, and I've also copied the VST GUI 4 subfolder into it as well. Over on the Windows side, I've done the same thing. In my C drive, I've got all SDK. I've got the AAX SDK here with my My Projects folder and a VST GUI subfolder, and I've got um, the VST SDK on the Windows side, everything the same parallelized with the My Project subfolder here. And I've got the AU SDK. It's only sitting here because I just copied this entire directory structure from the Mac side onto this side. It won't be used in Windows because Windows doesn't support AU, but it is just sitting there in parallel with the rest of them. Now you'll notice that in the outer all SDK folder, I've got another folder, subfolder named My Projects, with another copy of VST GUI 4 in it. The way that it works with ASPIC is you have the ability to create plugins targeted for any one of the SDKs or any combination of the SDKs that you want. And you can compile them that way. For example, if you like to work on AU, SD, AU plugins only, you can just work on AU plugins and not bother with the rest of them. If you want to work on all plugins at the same time, you can create what are called universal projects, and they sit out in this outer My Projects folder. Some people may do all of their projects as universal projects and never bother with independent individual ones inside of that. And that's actually how I do it myself. But I know that there are definitely people who only want to work inside of one SDK and that they don't care about any of the other SDKs. So I want to make sure that you can you have that option of working as well. So I've set mine up to have both of those um, multiple parallel copies of these folders here. All right, so that sets up um, the SDKs that you're going to need. And uh, I'm going to go over one more detail in the AAX SDK. With the VST and AU SDKs, when you generate projects from ASPIC, you just drop them into those SDKs and create them and you go. With AAX, you have to pre-compile the AAX uh, libraries. And you'll need to do that outside of ASPIC. You'll need to do that when you download the AAX SDK. And there are instructions for doing that in the SDK as well as um, this SDK. 
and uh, as well as my new book. Um, so the way that you do that is you go into the libraries folder right here. And in the AX library, there are two subfolders, MacBuild and WinBuild. And these have Xcode and Visual Studio projects that you open. And you basically need to use whatever version of Xcode and Visual Studio that you're going to build your final AX plugins with. So in the Mac version, you'll go ahead and you'll do that. You'll open this uh, Xcode project and run it, and it will create these folders over here, these libraries rather, um, AX library underscore um, libcpp.a and AX library.a. And you'll need to compile both the debug and the release versions of them. We will only be using the underscore libcpp um, versions of these libraries for the Mac side of things. Um, and the, all of the AAX demonstration plugins also will only use this uh, library. So you only really need to compile that. I've got both of them compiled anyway, but um, that's how that works there. For the Windows side over here, you'll need to do the same thing and open the Visual Studio library projects up, and you will compile then to Windows libraries. One of them is x64 underscore D, and the other one is x64. Both of them are .lib files. So with those two libraries pre-compiled and in place on both the Mac and the Windows sides, we're now ready to develop plugins for any of these SDKs on, any, um, on either side that we want to. So I'll do that in the next video, and we'll start working on our very first uh, example plugin.